It is time for us to highlight a true American hero and a serendipitous connection between an Uber driver and his passenger. Tim Letts from South Jersey struck up a conversation with Bill Sumil, who used the app to get a ride to his dialysis appointment. And in that car ride, Tim offered Bill his kidney. Yeah, it turns out they're a perfect match. Timothy and Bill with me right now to talk about it. Being in the right place at the right time. Okay, so Tim, first of all, thank you for your service. I know you're an Army veteran. But, you know, a lot of us strike up conversations with Uber or Lyft drivers. When Bill told you his story, why did you think, you know, I can give him my kidney? I mean, Bill was just so genuine. It's something I'd um, considered doing for a little while now, um, or at least at the time. And when Bill was talking to me, I couldn't help but think something my dad brings to the table all the time. You know, thinkers thought, doers did. And... Um, I believe good people need good people to stand by them. And with that outlook on it, you know, Bill's a great person. It's a pretty easy decision. That's so beautiful. Bill, what was your reaction when he said to you in that car ride, I'll give you my kidney? <laughs> Shock. <laughs> Shock and pleasure. I at mean, the same time. I mean, you've been on the list. You were on a list for a kidney transplant for three and a half years. So you've been going through dialysis. I have uh, some friends who are connected to dialysis patients, and it's this li lifelong process. It's very tedious. It's depressing. And you never know if you're ever going to get a kidney. So how soon did you find out that you actually were both a match? Well, probably five or six months later. Mm -hmm. Everything slowed down because of COVID, and one day, Tim had called me. We were just having a general conversation. And out of that conversation, he said, well, you know, we're a match. The transplant center doesn't tell me anything about Tim and vice versa. Oh. So it was, but we can talk to each other about it. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. So, it was, uh, so, did, it was a pleasure. so even though you're on the list, you have somebody, Tim comes in and says, I'll give him my kidney you have to still go through this process. Is that right, Tim? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, we have to make sure that A, I'm healthy enough, and B, I meet a bunch of other criteria. Um, only something like 30% of people who even try to donate a kidney as a living donor are even able to. Um, I kind of knew my chances would be good to be a match because I'm O positive, but there's several other factors too. So it's it's a pretty long and extensive process to being able to donate anything, kidney, blood, marrow, you know. And, and how much time did it take for you to recover after that surgery? So for me, um, it wasn't a lengthy recovery. I had a short window that was pretty bad, but after about a month, I was able to start returning to regular activities um, like bowling and fishing. I wasn't restricted anymore. But uh, it took a couple extra weeks to start feeling more and more like myself. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Bill? How are you feeling? I feel wonderful. No <laughs> more dialysis, no more getting up 3 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, my whole day would be ruined. The next day you recover, and the day after that, the you know, it starts all over again. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm so grateful this happened. Oh, it had to be divine intervention. Well, it sounds like it to me. Tim and Bill, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. I love this story so much. You think me Tim too. would make a good friend? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Tim's everybody's friend. I right want to now. take him fishing. I, I saw those pictures. That's nice, nice tuna and mahi. I, I think you deserve a fishing trip on me for that. My you know? God. Think about that though. He he served the country, so like yes. he kind of did his part to help other people, right? And then he's just wow. driving Uber and he's like, you know, I can do more. I can give body parts. I can give organs I'm thinking to somebody about it. Else. I'm honestly saying, you know, I'm very healthy. There might be somebody that I can give a kidney to. I'm not kidding. When I heard that story, I was like, you know, but I don't know if I can take a month off. How work. many people would do that in an Uber ride, though, and think about doing that? That's, that's, that's the mind-blowing part. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.